Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats uh, and this video, uh, the first video in our series of videos dealing with the binomial theorem, also known as the binomial expansion, is just going to explore the, the formula that's, that, that we have uh, associated with this particular, with this particular uh, theorem. And what the binomial theorem says to us, it says this is that uh, if we have a term x plus y raised to the power of n, uh, and you know, if you want to, if you want to calculate x plus, well, let's say for argument's sake, that if you wanted to calculate x plus y squared, well, that's the same as x plus y times x plus y. Okay, it's a product of this particular this particular term here, uh, which is the same as x times x gives us x squared. X times y gives us x y. Y times x gives us x y, and y times y gives us plus y squared. So actually, effectively, what we get is we get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, okay? Quite straightforward when it comes to x plus y squared. Let's say if we had something a little bit more complicated, let's say x plus y, let's say to the power of, let's say six, but what we'd have to do is we'd have to take, well, we could calculate what, we could calculate x plus y times x plus y to the power of five, but we'd still need to have calculated what x plus y to the power of five is, but effectively what x plus y to the power of six is, it's, the product of x plus y times 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 x plus y. And that's going to take a little bit of time to do, okay, is to multiply that out. And what the binomial expansion stroke binomial theorem helps us to do is it gives us a formula that allows us to calculate, to calculate the coefficients, okay, uh, the coefficients with respect to the, the, the two indeterminants, the x's and the y's, and also the powers of the x's and the y's as we go through the expansion. And what it says is this, is it says that x plus y to the power of n can be calculated as the sum of, okay, from let's say k is equal to zero, all the way through to n, of n c k times x to the power of n minus k, times y to the power of k. Okay, looks a little bit complicated, uh, but let's just actually see what it what it's actually saying. If we actually expand this out, okay. So let's say, for argument's sake, that we have that we want to calculate x plus y squared. Okay, what this says is this. Now, don't forget the n in this case is two. So what we need to do is it's the sum of from k is equal to zero to two of n is 2, so it's 2ck times x to the power of 2 minus k times y to the power of k. So what we need to do now is we need to substitute in, we need to sum across this particular iteration from k is equal to 0 and k is e k up through to k is equal to 2. So let's just have a look at k. So in this particular case, k can take on the value 0. It goes from 0 up to 2. So it goes from 0, 1, and 2. So let's now take this particular term here, okay? And let's just substitute in the appropriate value of k. So the first term then becomes, okay? It's gonna be uh, two c zero times x to the power of two minus zero times y to the power of zero. All I've done is I've taken this term and I've put in for k, uh, the value of k that I've listed down here. Don't forget k is starting at zero and going up to n, which in this case is two. In relation to when k is equal to 1, this becomes 2c1 times x to the power of 2 minus 1 times y to the power of 1. And when k is 2, this becomes 2c2 times x to the power of 2 minus 2 times y to the power of 2. Now, we could simplify each one of these out. This is the same as, let's just leave it as, uh, let's just leave it as these binomial coefficients uh, as combinations. So it's 2c0 times x to the power of 2 minus 0 gives me 2, uh, times x to the power, so times y to the power of 0, which is just which is just 1. So that gives me that term there. Uh, also, what I have here is this is 2c1 times x. Maybe I'll leave the y to the 0 here for a moment. Yeah, that's important, yeah. Uh, times x to the power of 1, times y to the power of 1. And then finally, what we have here is we have 2c2 times x to the power of 0, times y squared. The important thing here is this, is that in relation to each term in this particular expansion, okay, you can see that the first term's binomial coefficient 
this NCX, NCK value, okay, uh, starts off, in this case, the power of the exponents is 2. So it starts off 2C0, 2C1, 2C2. Okay? So you can see that it's iterating through each one of the K terms. Then you can see that the X starts off as a square.